is Ann Stevens along with Ken Klee, and we edit Corporate Dealmaker magazine. The issue is available at thedeal.com slash corporate dealmaker. But Ken, we're here to talk a little bit about the issue and give people a taste of what's in there. And our focus this time was valuation. Yes, and for good reason. It's a very timely topic. A, a, a year ago, as everybody knows, the private equity firms were astonishingly able to outbid strategic buyers for assets that the strategics really wanted. Uh, a year on, the world is a lot different. We see strategics with strong balance sheets going after things that they want. And valuation is right at the heart of that story. Certainly. And one of, one of the issues that I looked at was fairness opinions in there and how those uh, affect corporate deal makers who are doing a lot of the valuation. The valuation work, after all, underpins the fairness opinion. And there was a lot of skepticism by the corporate deal makers that I talked to as to whether fairness opinions really add any value to the deal process. I mean, they felt not really, certainly the way that they are calculated now. And a couple of problems that they had with them is that the numbers are so subjective. But uh, I think more significantly that there are really no guidelines for how fairness opinions uh, are determined, how fairness is actually determined. So they're not necessarily fair. Well, it depends on, it depends on who you ask, that's for sure. Yeah. In my piece, uh, which ended up with the, with the headline, um, what's it worth to us? Uh, we looked both at the trends in the marketplace, what are companies actually selling for, and we found that they'd come down maybe a turn on average. But what more interestingly we were able to do was go behind the scenes at a couple of, of companies and understand how they make that judgment of what it's worth to them. And what it takes for them to do that is uh, some tools, as you would expect, discounted cash flow analysis is, is the, the, the chief one there. But uh, even more than that is, is teamwork, because you've got deal professionals who know how to do a transaction, and you've got business people who actually know what um, the market's going to be, what, what the product is, 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 is really worth. And all of that is what it takes to get an accurate valuation. Well, and that's even more important when you're going into an emerging market. Yeah, uh, it's more important and it's also a lot more difficult because uh, uh, the, the data that you're accustomed to using for these models, uh, first of all, is harder to find in emerging markets. And secondly, it doesn't necessarily mean there what it's going to mean in a developed market, if you, whether you're looking at uh, uh, the value of a brand or customer loyalty or, or anything like that. And the same is true when you're buying assets out of bankruptcy, and that's another uh, issue that we cover in this in, in Corporate Dealmaker, and that is buying distressed intellectual property assets from a bankrupt entity, and there are a lot of challenges when you're doing that. Uh, namely, that when you buy an asset, uh, you are usually planning to do something with it. You, you may be trying to improve upon it and, and take it into a new marketplace, for example, a new geography. And when you do that, you really open yourself up to a lot of competitors who may not have noticed you before. And some of those competitors uh, might be willing to challenge the patents that underpin that new product. Which kind of brings us full circle. When you, when you think about the thousand and one or maybe the million and one details that you actually have to look at and nail down in order to figure out what an acquisition is going to be worth to you, it, it gets at the, at, at the teamwork that, uh, that enables companies to figure out what's this acquisition going to be worth to us. And right. that's our focus this time. Yeah, and, and that teamwork is certainly inherent in the, the companies that we look at and the corporate deal making that, that takes place there. So uh, the good news is you can read uh, all these stories online at thedeal.com backslash corporate deal maker. I'm Suzanne Stevens along with Ken Klee. Thanks for watching.